Yo, what is up, YouTube? Um, don't mind how messy my desktop is. It's not really messy, but like I got a lot of stuff. Um, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Guerrilla Tag fan game. I'm not going to teach you how to install Unity. It's the most simplest thing. Just download Unity. Download whatever version you want. I will show you what I have installed in Unity, though, like the editor. So just give me a second. <clears throat> but anyway, I've been doing a lot of vi videos on how to, um, like, go take fan game tutorials, and a lot of people have asked how do I actually make it, so I'm going to show you. So what you want to do is you want to come over on the left side where you see, where you see installs, you just download any version, doesn't really matter at all, um, and then what you want to do with your install though, before you actually install it you want to download everything that's under <coughs> android so you'll see uh, android build support open jdk android sdk and ndk tools you want to download them three wait until that you know downloads create a new project right name it whatever you want i'm just gonna do tut video my keyboard is not in the right spot hold on guys all right just name it whatever you want um <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry my cap was just on my foot so once you do that it should um load create your project um so I'll be back once this is in. Alright guys, once your Unity opens, um, the first thing that you want to do is go to File, no, I mean sorry, Edit, Project Settings, and then you want to go to XR Plugin Management, Ugh, that was not English, XR Plugin Management, install that, let it do its thing, Right, and then it'll bring up a little window like this. You want to get the Open XR. Right, and then now this will come up. Make sure you press Yes. So what this will do is it's going to reload your whole project. So if you've already made a map, what you want to do is you want to make a, a backup of that before you do that. Um and then turn it into a prefab, and then turn it into an FBX. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to do that, because that's a long process. Not really, it's pretty short, but I, that means I've got to reinstall something. You can watch a tutorial on how to do that. All right? and then you'll see this little um, error icon little thing. What you want to do is you want to tap on that. Anything that says fix, just tap fix. Like that, um, do its little script compilation thing. Also, the next part of this series will be how to add Photon. Don't use Normcore. If you watch any videos on how to add Normcore, don't do it. Um, and then you'll tap this little edit icon. We'll bring up this little tab. Press this little plus, uh, plus to uh, check the Valve Index, Oculus, and Vive. Now, anything else that you want to add, you can. I just want to add the Valve and the Oculus at the moment. Change Render Mode to from Single Pass to Multi Pass. Tap the little um, Android little guy. Change Single Pass to a Multi Pass. Tap this little plus. Tap on Oculus. Come back into the XR Plugin Management. And then you should be on the little Android guy again. You just want to tap on Oculus. Let that do its thing again. Okay, now you want to tap on the Oculus. So you scroll down on the left side until you see the Oculus. Change multi-view to multi-pass. Turn on the low overhead mode. Tap the little PC icon. <clears throat> Single pass to multi-pass. Now that that's set up. What you want to do is you want to go to my Discord, which will be right here, and you're going to see a tab called um, um, 
G tag making. <clears throat> just tap on that, you get the thing. Um, I'll be back once I've made that tab. Alright, guys. So you'll see this little Gorilla Locomotion Unity package. All you gotta do is just drag that into your assets. A little window like this will come up. Just press All and then Import. And now what will happen is you'll see this little reload. Press reload, and that's why you don't want to make your map first. So now what you can do is you can set up your little base map. So I'm just going to make, um, actually, don't make your whole map out of cubes. I'm going to give you a quick little tip. Also delete um, the main camera. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tip. Make your map out of planes. So... Obviously, the stuff that's in the map can be other stuff, but make your floor and all of that stuff, um, the, and walls, planes, because it makes your game less laggy. Mm -hmm. So just scale this up, do whatever, grab some textures, I'm just going to use materials. For the demonstration, make the floor, we'll make it like green, like grass. And then, let's just add, you know, just anything. Just like a little base map. I'm not going to test this in VR mode, because I don't have my VR plugged in, or I don't even think it's charged. But anyway, let's make your map. Do whatever. And then, you want to just search up Gorilla Rig. Another thing that I forgot to do is, sorry guys, come over to Window, Package Manager, um, go, like, tap this little plus, do Add Package from Git URL, search up com.unity.xr.interaction.tool, hit. Um, I'm going to copy that, and I'm also going to put that in here, just like that, guys. Um, and then just control C it, and then control V. Press add. Let it do its thing. I can't remember if this reloads the project or not, which I don't think it does. Okay, dude, I made a backup. Go ahead. Now tap the little arrow uh, where it says samples, starter assets. Do import on starter assets. I'm sorry that I forgot to say this. Okay, guys. And now what you guys want to do is now your Gorilla Rig will actually work because what that does is it allows um, this to do its thing. Now, it should put you in, like, this little thing. If it doesn't, ugh, if it doesn't, go to Assets, go to Samples, XR Interactions, 2.3.0, whatever it says for you, then Starter Assets, and then on all of these little setting, little icon thingy things, the ones with, like, the little sliders, you just want to tap on them and go Add to Action Based, and then whatever it says. So just tap on them and do Add... Mm -hmm. And now what I like to do is I like to just tap on them just in case you missed one. Yep, like that, I missed one. Mm -hmm. Now once you've done that guys, you want to go to edit, project settings. You want to go to, uh, sorry, I always get a little bit mixed up. Preset Manager, sorry. Preset Manager. And you want to write... You want to come to where it says Action Based Controller. And you want to write down right on the right controller. And then do left. I always do lowercase since these ones are uppercase. I don't know if that makes any difference. Um, it hasn't broken for me. If, it's some, if something goes wrong in your scene and it doesn't let you move, just do uppercase. And another thing... What I want you guys to do is before you guys do anything, 
come over to these top spheres here, um, which are your little bowls. If you don't want to see them um, in the future, just turn off the mesh renderer. And yes, I will teach you guys how to make um, a player model very soon with hands. Um, they'll probably be in part three. Um, and then, guys, once you've got the, your little rig in your scene, you want to go to your sphere, uh, your spheres, add a sphere collider to them, mm -hmm. and then turn on the is trigger and change the radius to 0 0.05. That's not what I wanted to do. 0 0.05. And then on your left hand, which I'm pretty sure is the bottom one. Uh, give me a second. I've got an idea. So to test, what you guys want to do is you want to tap on your left controller. Move this up. And then what you guys want to do is tap on it. So left is the bottom one. I was correct. And then create a new tag. Name this left hand. Create another one. Right hand. Spell exactly like that. Capital L, capital H, no spaces. Capital R, capital H, no spaces. Go to your spheres. On your left hand, put left hand. And also, don't forget, go to your layer. Add layer. Put in user layer 3. Make this hand tag. Okay, so left hand, put hand tag. So the, the tag is left hand and then the layer is hand tag. Tag, right hand for the right. And then layer is hand tag. And then what I like to do is I like to name it right. And then name this one left. Okay, and now what I like to do is copy the component of the sphere collider come to your left hand and then just paste component values so put the sphere collider right click on it paste component values do the same for this one paste component values on left hand put left hand make the layer um, hand tag right hand right hand layer Hand tag. Okay, guys. And now, once again, come into my Discord. Fan game making. Um, I'm going to um, post another thing, so I'll be back once it's in there. Hey, right, guys. So you'll see something called anti-hand phase. This was made by Sam Sam. Um, so credits to him. So just drag that into your scripts folder, which it should come already, you know, made. And you want to put that onto your spheres. Okay. And now the sphere, you just want to drag. So you tap on your left, drag the left. On your right, drag the right. And on the right, put your right hand. And then on your left, put your left hand. And now, don't watch any other tutorial on how to add Photon. That will be my next video that should probably be released either later today or tomorrow. Um, which, by the time you're watching this video, is probably already out. Because the anti-hand phase relies on... Well, it doesn't rely on Photon. But you... Yeah, for it to work with Photon, you need to watch my tutorial. Like, you can add it, but... Yeah, anyway. When you press play... You'll spawn in VR mode if you have your VR plugged in. And you can move. As you guys can see. So obviously I'm not in VR mode. But these are your spheres for your hands. You won't have a rig. But anyway, um, that's how you make a Grill Tag fan game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video um, will be on how to make... Photon work and stuff, and yeah. Bye-bye.